Why is encryption needed? In today's world, most of our important information is stored or shared through phones, computers, and the internet. This information can include passwords, bank details, private messages, photos, and documents. Keeping this information safe is very important. But there are people called cyber criminals who try to steal this valuable information. Cyber criminals are like digital thieves. Cyber criminals look for chances to take personal information and use the stolen information for their own benefit. If cyber criminals get private information, they can use it to steal money from bank accounts. Cyber criminals may use stolen data to blackmail a victim by threatening to disclose private files or messages. Personal data is at risk in two main ways. 1. While the information is being sent over the internet, such as emails, chat messages, or online payments. 2. While the information is stored on phones, computers, or cloud storage. This is where encryption becomes very important. Encryption works like a secret lock. Encryption changes a readable message, plain text, into random letters and numbers, ciphertext. Without the special key, no one can understand the encrypted message. This means that even if cyber criminals steal the data, cyber criminals will not be able to read the encrypted message. Encryption keeps information private safe and secure from people who want to misuse the data that is why encryption is one of the most effective ways to protect the digital ecosystem what is encryption and decryption Encryption is the process of changing a normal, readable message into random letters and numbers so that no one else can understand it. Decryption is the process of using a special key to turn those random letters and numbers back into the original, readable message. Encryption hides the message. Decryption reveals the message. What is plain text? A normal, readable message that can be easily understood is called plain text. It is the original form of the message before encryption. Plain text is the real message that you can read and understand before it changed into random letters and numbers by encryption. With the right key, the random letters and numbers can be changed back into this original message. This real message is called plain text. Plain text means a normal message that we can easily read and understand. What is ciphertext? Plain text is easy to read. To keep the message safe, Encryption changes the plain text into random letters and numbers. This form of random letters and numbers is called ciphertext. How does encryption work? Encryption works by using an algorithm together with a cryptographic key. The original readable message, called plain text, is changed into random letters and numbers, called ciphertext, using the key. The encrypted message cannot be read by anyone who does not have the key. Only someone with the right key can decrypt the ciphertext back into readable form. The receiver uses the key to decrypt the ciphertext and turn it back into readable text. The key is very important. As technology improves, 
The encryption must also improve to stay ahead of hackers. What are the two types of encryption? There are two main types of encryption. 1. Symmetric encryption. In symmetric encryption, the same key is used to encrypt and decrypt the message. Or we can say, in symmetric encryption, the same key is used to lock and unlock the message. In symmetric encryption, the sender and the receiver must both have the same key to communicate. This method is also called private key encryption. Symmetric encryption is mostly used for stored data such as files on a phone, laptop, or hard drive. Symmetric encryption is fast, simple, and effective for protecting personal files or backups. 2. Asymmetric encryption. In asymmetric encryption, two different keys are used, a public key and a private key. The public key can be shared with anyone, while the private key is kept secret. In asymmetric encryption, if someone locks a message using your public key, only your private key can open and read it. This method is called asymmetric because the two keys are different. Asymmetric encryption is commonly used for data sent over the internet, such as emails, messages, or online payments. What are the differences between symmetric and asymmetric encryption? The main differences between symmetric and asymmetric encryption are 1. Number of keys. Symmetric encryption uses a single key for both encryption and decryption. Asymmetric encryption uses two keys, a public key and a private key. 2. Key sharing. In symmetric encryption, the same key must be securely shared between the sender and receiver. In asymmetric encryption, the public key can be shared openly while the private key is kept secret. 3. Speed. Symmetric encryption is faster because it uses simpler algorithms. Asymmetric encryption is slower as it relies on more complex algorithms. 4. Usage. Symmetric encryption is mainly used for securing stored data, such as files and backups. Asymmetric encryption is typically used for secure data transmission, such as emails, digital signatures, and online payments. 5. Security. Symmetric encryption becomes weak if the single key is stolen. Asymmetric encryption is more secure since the private key is never shared. What is end-to-end -end encryption? End-to-end -end encryption is a security method that ensures only the sender and the intended recipient can read the communication. End-to-end -end encryption is a security technique that makes sure only the sender and the intended receiver can access the communication. Both symmetric and asymmetric encryption are used in end-to-end -end encryption. What does end-to-end -end mean in encryption? End-to-end -end in encryption means that the data is encrypted on the sender's device and can only be decrypted on the recipient's device. End-to-end -end means the message is locked on the sender's device and can only be unlocked on the recipient's device. In end-to-end -end encryption, only the sender and the intended receiver can read the actual message. What is the purpose of end-to-end -end encryption? 
The purpose of end-to-end -end encryption is to keep messages private and safe, so only the sender and the receiver can read them, and nobody else can access them. The purpose of end-to-end -end encryption is to make sure that our messages, photos, videos, or any information we send over the internet stay private and safe. End-to-end -end encryption ensures that only the sender and the intended receiver can read the message. End-to-end -end encryption is needed to keep messages and data private and secure. End-to-end -end encryption ensures that only the sender and the recipient can read the information. This protection keeps the data safe from hackers, internet service providers, app companies, or any other third parties who might try to access it. By using end-to-end -end encryption, individuals and organizations can protect sensitive information such as personal conversations, financial transactions, and business data from interception or surveillance. End-to-end -end encryption helps people feel safe while using online communication. How does end-to-end -end encryption work? End-to-end -end encryption means that messages are encrypted on the sender's device and can only be decrypted on the recipient's device. In end-to-end -end encryption, the data stays encrypted while it travels over the internet. In end-to-end -end encryption, when you type a message, your device encrypts or locks it before sending. The encrypted message then travels through the internet, and only the recipient's device can decrypt or unlock it. End-to-end -end encryption ensures that no third party, such as hackers, companies, or internet service providers ISP, can access the message. End-to-end -end encryption uses both asymmetric and symmetric encryption. In end-to-end -end encryption, asymmetric encryption is used to safely share the secret key and symmetric encryption is used to keep the actual message content secure. How is end-to-end -end encryption different from normal encryption? Encryption. Encryption is the process of changing a normal, readable message into random letters and numbers so that no one else can understand it. But sometimes, the service provider, like a website or app, can still decrypt and read the data. This means the company can still access your data if they want to. For example, when you send an email without end-to-end -end encryption, the email company can still read the contents of your email because they have the ability to decrypt it. End-to-end -end encryption End-to-end -end encryption goes one step further. In end-to-end -end encryption, only the sender and the intended receiver can decrypt and read the message. End-to-end -end encryption is a stronger and safer method of protecting information. It means only the sender and receiver can read the message. In end-to-end -end encryption, no third party can read your message. In end-to-end -end encryption, Hackers cannot read your message. In end-to-end -end encryption, even the app company itself cannot read your message. WhatsApp and Signal use end-to-end -end encryption. If you send a message on WhatsApp, only you and the person you sent it to can read it. Even WhatsApp itself cannot read your message. End-to-end encryption uses both asymmetric and symmetric encryption. In end-to-end -end encryption, asymmetric encryption is used to safely share the secret key and symmetric encryption is used to keep the actual message content secure.
you find this video useful. If you find this video informative, hit the like button. Your likes are very precious. Your likes are very valuable. Like this video.